My name's Amy and I'm one of the diabetes dietitians. Today I'm going to be talking about meal patterns and snacking. So it's recommended that we aim for three meals every day. So that would include breakfast, lunch and your evening meal. We encourage you to aim for three meals daily in order to provide you with the right amount of calories, carbohydrate and overall nutrition. If we eat less than this, it's unlikely that we'll be getting enough energy, vitamins, minerals and fibre. And if we eat more than this, it's likely that our blood glucose levels can increase and we may also find that our weight increases. When we have three regular meals, we're usually less inclined to snack because we've got a steady supply of energy throughout the day. Some people with diabetes believe that they need to have snacks and suppers to keep their blood glucose levels steady but this isn't usually the case. If you take certain medications, this is sometimes required, but usually not necessary. When we skip meals, for example, this person has skipped lunch, we can be more inclined to snack, and it may also mean that we have a larger evening meal later that day. When we have a larger meal containing large portions of carbohydrate, this can increase our blood glucose levels significantly and this can be difficult for the body to deal with. We can also see that adding in extra snacks such as these can mean that our blood glucose levels are constantly elevated throughout the day and it's very difficult for them to get back down to normal levels. If we look at a more regular meal pattern including breakfast, lunch and an evening meal we can see that blood glucose levels are more steady and better regulated as long as the portion size is right. This isn't to say that we can't have snacks. Sometimes we might feel like having a snack and if we're more active, we may need something extra to keep us going. If this is the case, we recommend choosing something that's ideally low in calories and low in carbohydrate, no more than twice a day. Some examples we've included are diet yogurts, so low in fat with no added sugar, some low fat cheese and crackers if you prefer a savoury option, sugar-free jelly, plain nuts, veggie sticks with some dips, a couple of plain biscuits, a piece of fruit or a small bowl full of fruit, usually a handful, or some popcorn. Choosing something containing fibre such as vegetables or fruit will generally keep us fuller for longer. So choosing something like a piece of fruit over a biscuit, it will keep you fuller for longer, but having a biscuit now and then is okay too. We would recommend choosing no added sugar products wherever possible. For example, no added sugar yogurts, no added sugar jellies, and no added sugar squash. However, there's no need to choose diabetic products such as ice creams, diabetic chocolates, or diabetic jams. And this is because they can be expensive, they can be high in fat, and they can also have a laxative effect. Sugar-free biscuits are also not necessary and can be misleading. Whilst they don't contain any added sugar, they still contain carbohydrate in similar amounts to that in normal biscuits, so they will still increase blood glucose levels in a similar way. If you want to have biscuits, we would recommend just having the normal versions in small amounts. So in summary, it's recommended to aim for three regular balanced meals daily. Snacking is not essential when you've got diabetes, but do check if you take certain medications and you're unsure. If you are going to snack, we'd recommend choosing low calorie, low carbohydrate options and specialist diabetic products are not required.